wanna share the six AI tools that I believe can take your small YouTube channel to a complete success, or at least getting there a lot easier. The first tool is ReCut. Many content creators have been raving about this tool and it's easy to see why. ReCut simplifies the editing process by automatically removing silences from your raw video footage, allowing you to dive straight into the creative part. Whether you have hours of podcast recordings or video footage, manually editing out pauses, breaths, and silences can be tedious and time consuming. This is a 40 minute A roll clip from a video I made a few months ago. Previously, I had to spend hours meticulously editing through the rough cut. ReCut did it in a second. It made 206 cuts and instantly removed those unwanted elements. Now I can either export a new video or export a timeline that gives me complete control over all the edits that were made straight into my editor. I hope that you can see how much time this is going to save you. The next tool I want to talk about is Altered AI. Altered AI lets you create voiceovers using AI generated voices in just a few seconds. It takes your voice and transforms it into any voice of your choosing. And um, I know this might not seem useful to a lot of you, but it has some really interesting applications. For example, if you're making a video and need to create a character's voice, then Altered AI is perfect for that. Here's an example from Jack Gordon. You know anyone that did Snapchat message scamming? And I found him last time I was looking to interview someone like that. Yeah, I pretty much know the number one guy. How do you have so many connections to these crazy people? I used to be part of their inner circle. Do you want to interview one? Yes! Do you have Telegram? No. It's pretty much the exclusive way to communicate with anybody on the shadier side of the internet. Russian-owned company, so subpoenas don't work on them. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Seems like this can quickly and easily be done with altered AI. This is one of the tools bro, that we just talk about the next tool, they get it. Bro, like, relax. Chill, bro, just go oh, back oh, to the room, really? like, chill out. Let, let, let me get a little closer. I'm sorry, say, I'm, say no, bro, I'm sorry. I'm say, sorry. Say it again. Sorry. Next is the generative fill tool by Photoshop. Now, Photoshop is complicated, and to be honest, I really do not know how to use it. But thankfully, if you download the beta version of Photoshop, the new generative fill tool makes it much easier for non-experts to do complicated things. You simply highlight an area of an image and tell the software exactly what you want to see. I took this photo from a creator that I absolutely love to demonstrate what this can do. I mean, it's a great image, but let's pretend I wanted to change a few things up, like adding an airplane to the sky. Highlight the sky, tell Photoshop I want an airplane there, and it automatically generates one of several options to choose from. Next, I can change the hand that's holding the key. I like this one, but I don't really like how the key is looking. So highlight the key and ask for a new one. Ah, uh, I like this one. Lastly, let's change his t-shirt. Maybe something more attention grabbing like gold. Eh, these options aren't exactly what I expected, but I do like this one, so I'm gonna keep it. And here's the new thumbnail. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this. This is absolutely nuts. Like I have zero design skills. I absolutely suck at Photoshop. I don't know how to use it. I literally only know how to do what I just did. And it's passable, it works. Like if you don't squint too hard and zoom in too close, it works. Heck, I can even go back and change the hand completely. And instead of having him hold a key, I can make him hold a basketball. It's crazy how fast you can edit passable thumbnails with no design experience. Next, let's talk about Adobe Podcast. If you haven't heard of this yet, this tool has the potential to change your life. All you need to do is sign into a free account, upload any audio file, and let the AI work to automatically enhance your audio quality. This is a game changer for YouTubers, especially if your audio is garbage. Right now, I am using the on-camera microphone on my Sony a7 III. And when I use Adobe Podcast to enhance my voice, the difference is absolutely incredible. I would love to hear about your experiences with this tool in the comments below. Moving on, let's talk about the next tool, Title Generator by TubeBuddy. When you're on your video details page with the TubeBuddy Chrome extension installed, you'll notice the Title Generator button. This handy feature provides suggestions for titles 
based on your video's existing details or information you enter manually. Its purpose is to enhance your discoverability and to help you get more clicks. Personally, I think this tool is really great on older videos that have started to see a decline in views because that's the perfect opportunity to experiment with different titles to see if you can reignite interest. And sometimes it works. Take for instance, this video I published over a year ago. By simply changing the title, the click-through rate skyrocketed by over 35%. It's now the fifth most viewed video on our channel over the last 90 days. Now it's worth noting, I made no other changes but the title, didn't even touch the thumbnail and those were the results that we received. This wouldn't be a complete roundup of AI tools if we didn't go back to one of the tools that started it all. ChatGPT is a free tool that generates high quality, human-like responses to any question you ask it. It is so good that many schools had to ban it from their classrooms because it was too difficult to tell if assignments were performed by real students or by the AI. For us creators, ChatGPT helps us create content faster by automating all of the tedious tasks that we, you know, nobody really wants to do. It can transcribe videos, provide summaries, write descriptions, and conduct research. You can even generate video scripts, brainstorm ideas, and receive constructive feedback on your content. I conducted a community poll and discovered that 32% of you have never used ChatGPT. While I know the concept of using AI to assist with content creation might seem unusual, it can actually be incredibly valuable and time-saving. Let me know what your thoughts are on ChatGPT in the comments below. And if you want to know my five favorite ways to use ChatGPT to grow this, this YouTube channel right here, go ahead and watch this video next. I love you all. I will hang out with you in the comments below. Please, please, please smash the like button, subscribe, and keep creating.